In this video, I'm going to share with you a video mystery shop that was performed on me by a third party company wearing a secret microphone and video camera uh, that could show you a little bit about kind of what I do every day at my day job and maybe can answer some questions that you might have if you've ever wondered what exactly does a new home salesperson does. Um, and yeah, just give you some insight to, like I said, what I do every day during my nine to five. Stay tuned. What's up guys, welcome back to the Jeremy Kirsten Show where every episode we talk about business, entrepreneurship, investing, and personal growth. Today I wanna to share something special with you. It is a video mystery shop that was performed on me by a third party and this was at my day job and um, kind of give you a little bit of background. These companies are hired by my employer to come and shop me, if you will, right? That's what we call the industry, getting shopped um, and kind of see how I deal with the customers, if I'm checking all the points that they want me to. Now, there is a particular script, essentially, right, that they want me to follow. Um, it, you know, asks about um, current dissatisfactions and future promises of, you know, their, their current home now and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's based off the Jeff Shore 4-2 formula. If you don't know who Jeff Shore is, he's a new home sales coach. He makes his living with you know him and his team go around the country and they train new home sales professionals like myself and other uh, you know groups, uh, home builders and stuff, and they teach them sales strategies, tactics, uh, closing techniques, all sorts of you know that kind of stuff. And um, and so when you when a, as a new home builder like pays for that type of coaching for their salespeople, they send a video mystery shop person to go out to their model homes and make sure that they're checking all those points. It's a pretty long list of stuff. Um, too long for me to even really go through. It's like three pages of stuff. So as you watch this video, you're gonna notice that A, the guy who's shopping me is kind of like, I don't know, just being really vague in some of the stuff he says. It doesn't sound extremely truthful. And then me, if, whenever you're watching me, you're gonna notice me saying some quirky things me saying and asking unusual questions and things like that that seem a little unnatural and it's because it is i honestly knew um you know that this that i was going to be shopped very shortly my management did give me a heads up on this they said jeremy you know you're getting shopped and we, we go through training all the time and they kind of hint hey you're getting shopped this weekend so when the guy came out and he got out of his car like i knew right away it was a shopper um so you know i just turned it on you know it's like um went into like all right let's go let's do it and um so i basically did did the whole thing from meet degree to closing right and so in this video you're gonna see all of that it's kind of a lengthy video hopefully you got some patience take a seat chill whatever if you're not already and um you know hopefully you can learn something from this this is not a perfect you know presentation by all means but it's pretty close because I mean I think I did pretty good I don't know let me know what you think down in the comments below um, if you think the sales presentation was terrible if you would have said something different if you would have uh, maybe asked a different question a different way I want to know down in the comments below um, if you're a new home sales professional let me know if you've ever been shopped or if you got a shop coming up let me know if you've got any questions about anything but yeah this is kind of in a nutshell sort of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis and how I make my living so um, again, you know, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, share with a friend, comment, all that kind of stuff, um, and enjoy the video. How you doing, sir? Good, how you doing? Pretty good. Welcome to the Maker. How you doing? I'm Jeremy. Hey, nice Kyle. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, uh, what brings you in today? Uh, just wanted to uh, come check out what you guys had available. Okay, okay. You Welcome. The... Hello. Are you enjoying the weather today? Uh, yes, it's a pleasant change. Yeah, it is, definitely. <laughs> so, uh, have you been by here before? No, no. Okay, first time? Yes, sir. Great. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, Kathy's getting you the key real awesome. quick. Thank okay. you. All right, well, if you come this way, I'll show you kind of a little bit about the community. Wonderful. So this is Lake House. As you saw when you came in, it's a gated community with uh, two gated entrances here, full amenity center with the 
uh, fitness center, the pool, splash pad, mm -hmm. park, kayak launch, and uh, playground. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Can we share those keys? Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. Which one is it? Um, for for yeah, because she says she's twenty days out from closing, so it's got to be for the spec key. Actually. Yeah. Okay, and we're oh, it's on the yeah. Part. Yeah. Okay, okay, gotcha. Thank you. So yeah, and uh, we have the community divided up into four different sections, the 50 foot, 60 foot, 70, and the 90 foot home sites. Mm -hmm. Now tell me a little bit about kind of uh, why you're thinking about moving today. Um, I just had some life changes. Um, been looking to move for a little while. Okay. Got distracted and I've been looking again. And I uh, ran across you guys. Didn't know you guys were out here. Mm -hmm. um, Found you online and actually had some time today. I wanted to actually come see what you have because everything looks great online. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So you said that you were looking before. Yes. And what was kind of prompting that change for you? Um, some changes that I've had in my life the past year um, with my family. Uh, and that facilitated looking. I got distracted with life a few months ago and started looking again about a month ago. and. Um, ran across you guys okay yeah could you tell me a little bit more about that how you were look, you know with, with the changes initially from the beginning um well uh my wife and i we got a divorce so it's just me and my daughter uh we've been in the same place for a few years now and i'm just looking for a nice fresh start basically absolutely okay yeah. so where are you located at right now right now i'm down in uh, memorial west chase okay that's that's good so you're still on this West part of the city. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Are you familiar with Katy and kind of what it offers and the shopping and everything? Uh, yeah, somewhat. I mean, you know, I've been coming out here since I was a kid, but I know it's changed. I mean, I was just looking at this yeah. amazing map you guys Absolutely. have here. So, so uh, it's it's really nice. We're we're just far enough away from you know, all the hustle and bustle. Yes. It's kind of like some people even say it's like you know country life yes. something out here. Um, but you know the. The population's moving this way. Yes. We just happen to be early. Yes. Um, and some of the benefit, I think, that to the buyers is on this side of Pitts Road is where we kind of enter into Waller County. So you get to take advantage of the tax rate, 2.37, ah. significantly lower than the surrounding communities. Wow. Yes, and you still get the benefit of Katie ISD schools for your daughter. Wow, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. That's great, 2.37. Yes. Wow, yes. very nice, very nice. Mm -hmm. Um, so tell me a little bit about kind of your home now. Uh, my home now is an older home. Uh, one of the things I'm looking for is better efficiency in the home. Okay. I've come to realize that with the older home, it's uh, not very efficient. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just looking for um, a little bit more space as well. Um, it'd be great if I had a home office too. Okay, home office. Do you, do you, do you work out of the home? I do. Okay. I do. And what kind of work do you do? Import, export. Okay. Yeah. Logistics kind of stuff? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Great. So, you know, if I don't have to go into the office, I won't. I will do what I can from home. And, uh, you know, every so often, yes, I do have to go into the office. Okay. So you need something a little newer, efficiency, mm -hmm. office for yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what do you, you know, not like about the current home, other than it being maybe a little older? A little older. The size, mm -hmm. it's a little, uh, I think with my daughter now, uh, getting a little bigger, we're kind of outgrowing the home. Um, and the location, I mean, I like living, I've been there for a long time, but uh, as you said, it's uh, quite congested. Sure. It's a little overwhelming. This is, I mean, just driving out here, I was like, wow, this is great, trees and greenery and so yeah, look, I'm kind of looking for a change like that. Just okay. kind of slow it down a little bit. And yeah. Anything specific in your home, kind of must-haves that you were hoping to have? The well, office you said already. Yeah, yeah. The office is definitely a must-have. Um, it's really the energy efficiency and the newness of the home that I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, um, many years ago, uh, 10, 12 years ago, my dad and I tore his house down to the studs mm -hmm. and replaced everything and redid the floors in the kitchen and redid all the windows and stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, I learned a lot. 
uh, it was through that process I realized, oh, wait a second, all this stuff actually makes a difference because after the energy efficiency bills were a lot lower. So yeah, that's one thing that definitely interests me. Absolutely. Well, we're definitely an energy efficient builder, and I will show that to you here a little bit more as we get into looking at some homes together. Cool. Um, anything specific in size that you were looking for? Size? Uh, I don't think I need the biggest home. It's just me and her. Okay. Um, I was thinking about a one story, most likely. Okay. Um, at least three or four bedrooms, as I said, if it has an office, mm -hmm. great. Or the fourth bedroom could be made into an office. Okay. Um, uh, I, I think it's 2,000 square, or 2,200, I'm thinking. Okay. I think that was a number I have in my brain. I've been looking at a lot of stuff online, so I'm a little confused. Sure. Um, yeah, a three, four bedroom, I think about 22, 2,300 square feet, I think it is. Okay, that sounds good. I think I've got a uh, pretty good plan for you and mine. Okay, wonderful. That would work for you guys. Wonderful. Um, hmm. All right, well, with that being said, uh, I'll go get the, the, the golf cart key so we can head over to the model, I mean, to the, to the inventory home. To the, okay. And uh, in the meantime, could I have you register? Yes. On our iPads over here. This is an interesting home, here, right? home um, welcoming center you got going on here. Yeah. This is cool. Yeah, we're very lucky to have it. Yeah, this is this is very nice. Authorization. Authorization required. Hmm. That's interesting. Let me see here. Let's try, try it again. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's see. Come ah. submit there. And then we also have an ABA disclosure, and that is um, just to let you know that we're affiliated with a lender company there. If I could have you just sign that real quick. Oh, okay. I'll be right back. Sure.
happy with the uh, floor plans for the section that we're going to go be oh, reviewing. So it's got the prices, the uh, structural options, and everything in there. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Included features as well. All right. So uh, let me grab the golf cart real quick. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Such a nice uh, break from all the heat. Oh, it is. It really is, because uh, I want to say day before yesterday, it hit 90 again. Yeah. Before this front came through. Well, it's supposed to warm back up a little bit. Yes. And then kind of get cool again. Yeah, I actually have some friends in town right now, and they were like, wow, we weren't expecting this. <laughs> this is weird. I was like, this is typical Houston. No worry, it'll be 90 degrees before you know it. Yeah. Another Christmas, you know, with shorts. Exactly. Yeah, and I told them about that. One year it snowed, and then the following year it was 80 degrees on Christmas. Just right down this hall there in that building, you'll see the uh, ah, treadmills yes. and everything for yes. the center over there. Very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Then you've got the pool right there. Beautiful. They actually just closed it the other day, so it stayed open rather late. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Water slide there for the kiddos. Beautiful. Picnic area, park, splash pad right beautiful, there. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now, how... Um, um, how old is your daughter now? She is, wow, she's almost six. Oh, wow. She will be six uh, next month, okay. November 4th. Yeah, yeah so she's in, she's in kindergarten right now. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the exterior of the home? 
Um, I, I love the stone. The stone looks great. Um, in all honesty, I don't care for the brown garage door. Mm -hmm. But, you know, with the stone and the brick, it all ties together pretty well. Yeah. Well, the good thing about the paint is you can always, you know, repaint it, right? That's true. That's true. But uh, I do like this front area, how it's kind of different. Yeah, so that was, that's one of the uh, three different elevation choices for this home. It actually kind of um, adds that side window over there and puts uh -huh. these windows in that corner. It kind of brings in a whole bunch of natural light out of that corner. Yeah, because I would as I would was expecting this corner to be brick, mm -hmm. really. And yeah. to have this uh, wood here is kind of interesting looking, actually. Yeah. Gives it a different look. Exactly. Nice. Oh, that's a cool door. Mm -hmm. Kind of a modern look. Yes. All right, so I'm going to want you to step in, take a few steps, and then just give me your first impression. All right. Well, I can tell you right off the bat, I do love the, the color palette. Mm -hmm. And this is pretty awesome. Absolutely. Is this... um? What is this? This is engineered hardwood. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. All of our inventory homes, we do, you know, a uh, fair amount of upgrades. Not not too much to push it out of everyone's price range, but just enough to make it look good. Like a you know, beautiful, ready, moving home. Yeah, it looks uh, great. Oh, wow. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, a lot of windows. <laughs> That's great. So how do you feel about the space of this room here? Uh, this uh, this looks like a pretty decent size, actually. Yeah. Would this work maybe for your office? Uh, yes, actually. Mm -hmm. I think my desk and everything would fit just fine in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought about this house particularly because, you know, I, you, you said you needed an office. Yes. Where this room, this home doesn't have its own office. Yes. Um, it is a four bedroom. Four bedroom. And I, you know, I thought, well, if, if three was all you needed, maybe that fourth could be used as an office. And Absolutely. It's got a great little view to it. No, it does. It does. You're right. And this room here, how do you feel about this? Uh, this one seems pretty good too. It uh, seems to be a, a little bit smaller on that one. Maybe it's the windows, but I think this one would work just fine as well. Great. Yeah. Great. Wonderful. You think your daughter would benefit from something like that? <laughs> yeah, I think she would. Uh, I think she would like that. Hmm. Our clothes in there. Have her own. Her mm -hmm. own, yeah. Own bath. Right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> nice, spacious utility there. That works absolutely. And I guess while we're here, we'll take a quick look at the garage. Oh yeah. Spend the time out in the summer setting up, moving the yes, around yes. every couple hours and everything. You guys have that front and back? Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Absolutely. Beautiful. Water heaters. Oh, down. downstairs. Yes, Very sir. nice. Don't have to worry about coming through the ceiling. Oh, yes. Done that before. Okay. This is a dining room. Hmm. If you wanted to, I suppose you could use this as, as an open office. Yes. Good size space. What do you think of this dining room? Uh, it's very nice. I like the um, the ceilings again. I love the wood. Uh, I like the windows. Mm -hmm. You're right, though. Um, I mean, even even you could close this off, really. Absolutely. Hmm. Okay. All right. Wonderful. And here is the kitchen. Uh huh. What do you think of the kitchen? First impression. I like it. I like, um, again, 
I like the the palette of the grays and the silvers and the whites. Absolutely, yeah. A lot of a lot of cupboard space, um, a lot of counter space. Um, yes, sir. Gas. Yes. Okay. It'd be, it'd be gas stove. So would be a sliding range there, dishwasher, um, microwave right up above here. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then you were talking, I know you said energy efficiency was something that was very important to you. Yes. So you'll notice all the uh, LED bulbs there, low efficient. Mm -hmm. uh, if we were to go up into the attic, you'd see the radiant barrier. You'd see the blown in fiberglass insulation there. Um, and then of course we use, you know, all the smart uh, dupier systems. Uh, this is a, for, for drinking water here. Mm -hmm. um, and then as you saw, we've got the uh, green water heater in the garage. And then we use a um, 16 sear minimum system from Linux is the AC. From Linux, okay. Yes, that sounds, oh, that sounds pretty good. Double pane windows, of course. Yes. So even though this is going to allow a lot of natural light in, still going to keep all the heat out. Mm-hmm. That's great. What do you think about that backyard? Um, it's kind of big. Yeah, for a 50-foot project, <laughs> yeah. it's absolutely big. I did not expect it to be that big. Yes, yeah, we have very, very deep backyards in the community. It's, you know, one of the many selling points and reasons why people are buying here. Yeah, my goodness. I definitely did not expect the back to be this big. Yeah, so you've got the covered patio here. Mm -hmm. um, already got some lighting that's blocked for the ceiling fan oh, there. Oh, yes. A little plug there for, you know, bring the radio or something out. Mm -hmm. And a whole bunch of room for a pool if you wish to do so in the future. Yes, yes. Wow. Yeah, that's a great size. And then last but not certainly least, let's take a look at the master. All right. How do you feel about this living room though before we get you over, over to the master? Um, I like it. It's a good size. I love the openness, you know, with the, the kitchen and the, the living room together, obviously, because the kitchen usually is the heart of the home. Um, but this is a great size too, actually, yeah. Yeah, I think this will work just fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you think about this room? Very good size. Um, I don't think I have any problem with my California king bed, so like the windows. Ray ceiling, nice. That I think that will, I think that will work. All right. And that back here. Mm. Pretty unique shower, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't um, because you don't fit in tubs, so I really like showers. Good deal. What uh, what is this? This is a style stone. It's actually a combination of like kind of both granite and um, you know other composite stone materials yes it's really nice in the benefit that if you were to spill something on it that typically could stay in a granite material that's usually not the case for something like this it's not as porous and allowing those darker colors to seep in and stay right in. Mm -hmm. oh, very interesting very nice yeah. Size, huh? Very good size. Does uh, that work for you? Sure. Absolutely. Deal. Absolutely. And of course, attic access. Mm hmm. Great. Well, it seems like this plan, uh, overall, based on what we've discussed, would be something that would work for you. Is, is that correct? Yeah, I think so. Um, what was the square footage of this one? 
Now this one is just about uh, 2,600 square foot. Okay. Maybe a little bit larger than what you anticipated, but I think that would be plenty of room for you to kind of grow into as you and your daughter, you know, the, the family kind of just gets older and you grow. Absolutely. You collect more furniture and things. And more um, Barbie stuff and yes, houses, exactly. yes. It would allow you to you know, not feel too tight to where you have to come back and see me in a couple of years and buy another one. I, uh, yes, I agree with that. Yeah, it feels very spacious, actually. That's why I was curious to what the uh, square footage was. Exactly. So, what about this particular house? Does this work for you? Or, you know, does, does, does this particular house feel like it could be the one for you? Well, it, it's definitely a contender. Okay. Absolutely. Um, you know, I'd probably say... The only thing maybe is the fact that it just doesn't have a designated study. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not a big deal, but you know, if I, if I had the sile stone here instead of this granite. But then again, I don't have a degree in interior design, so I really don't know what I'm talking about, but sure. um, the, just probably those couple of things. Because yeah. um, as I told you as soon as we walked in the door, I love the palette in yeah. this one. Absolutely. I love the floors. Uh, this is a pleasant surprise. Uh, so no, absolutely a contender. Okay. Well, would you like to make an offer on this one? It all depends on the price point. Absolutely. So this uh, this particular home right now is listed at about three twenty eight. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Okay. It's pretty good. Yeah. Is that? Come fit within what you were looking to spend? Totally. Okay. Totally. So should we go back to the office and kind of talk numbers? Um, yeah. Yeah, I would like to see some numbers on this. Okay. Um, do you have anything else that's kind of similar to this? I do. I have one more. It's uh, called the Harrier. It's a little bit smaller, kind uh, of it's a small. different concept. Uh -huh. uh, the, the reason why I didn't particularly show you that one is because it's only a three and doesn't have... A, a space for you where you could maybe use a fourth bedroom. For okay. Study. Well then, yes. Okay then. Never mind. Okay. I just wanted to see just to c compare and contrast. But no, <laughs> great point. Yeah. Uh, I know this one actually kind of hits on all the things I was looking for. So yeah, um, yeah, I'd definitely be interested in some numbers. Okay. Great. Well, let's go back and do that. Wonderful. Actually, Thank you. Oh yeah, because that other bedroom over there has its own bathroom. Correct. Ah, okay, yes, yes, okay. So I could take this one and make that secondary room right there, the guest room, and then give her that room. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess in a perfect world, it'd be nice if it was down a cul-de-sac, but no, uh, that's, that works, actually. Okay. this way and up to this quadrant right. because you go south of I-10 it's, it's a madhouse yeah. <laughs> and that's yeah. what I'm trying to get away from. Yes, exactly. I was a kid. 
kid. Yeah. I came here. And I won't even say what year it is, and I'll date myself. But yeah. Been here for quite a while. Yeah, me too. And me left, too. and came back, and went and lived in Europe for a while. Oh, really? Yeah. What part of Europe? I lived in the south of France first, in a town called Po, P-A-U. Okay. The base of the Pyrenees Mountains in the wow. south. Absolutely beautiful place. Sounds like it. It is. And then from there I went to Scotland, to Aberdeen. Wow. Which was freezing cold all the time. So what were you doing in Europe? Um, more work or pleasure or more work? It, pleasure and then it turned into work. I went over there to visit my parents actually, spent some time over there, and I ended up staying and playing basketball for a couple years. Oh wow. Yeah. I just got lucky and met some people and started playing with them and they asked me to play and so I just ended up staying there in Europe for about five years. And what kind of league were you playing on? Or? Uh, pro, pro league. Oh wow. Pro league. Uh, at, again, I want to tell you how old I am, but it's a long time ago. This is 20 years ago. Um, and back then, you know, America was still ahead of the rest of the world in basketball. Uh -huh. So even me at my young age, they were like, wow, you're pretty good. But now they've caught up to us. So. <laughs> But yeah, after that, came back, came back to Texas. I was missing the heat. Oh yeah. Are you a big Rockets fan? Yeah, love the Rockets. Yeah, I'm excited for this season. Me too. Me too. My nephew calls me like every other day to talk, tell me something about something. I'm like, yeah, you like the Rockets, huh? <laughs> Um, no, I'm okay, actually. Okay. Thank you. Coffee and everything as well. Oh, cool. Thank you. All right. Probably because it's cooler, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do you need anything? Oh, no problem. No problem. saying that particular home that we were looking at today, All right. that one is the Starling. And All right, yes. Yes. I'm not sure why it's not on the latest price sheet. Mm -hmm. um, let me see here. Ah, here it is. Okay. So that one, like I said, is right at 322. Okay. And based on our discussion, it seemed to have checked all the boxes for you. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So, um, based on, on that and the price and everything, are you ready to take that home off the market? Well, um, I'll be totally honest with you. I'm not as uh, young and impulsive as I used to be. Okay. Um, I absolutely like the home. Yeah, there's only there's only two of them left. There's right. that one, and then there's one down the street that's not complete yet. Yes. It's priced a little higher and won't be ready for a little bit. So right. If that plan is the one that you like, I would definitely encourage you to move sooner rather than later. Well, I definitely, I mean, as I said, usually I walk in a home and it's the palette that, you know, I'm like, like I said, the brown. Mm -hmm. But once I walked in the door and saw the home, I was like, oh, okay, this is great. Um, I definitely like what I see. Uh, I will not take it off the market today, only because, as I said, I'm not as young and impulsive as I used to be. Uh, I'll definitely go home and think about it a little bit, okay? Just for, 
just for my OCD, basically. Sure. I mean, it, 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 is there any particular thing that you need to think about? Is it price? Is it the product? <sighs> I mean, uh, the the price is okay. The product is obviously fine. Um, it's just me, because you know it's a big decision. Absolutely. Um, so it's really just me that I, I want to think about it. Okay. Um, what is the, uh, what if I go home and think about it and I decide to sleep on it, I call you Sunday or Monday and I realize, no, you know what, I do want that, I do like it. What, yes, uh, what is the process? So the process with us is going to be 1% of the price that we've agreed upon. Mm -hmm. um, so I would just need to check in, you know, 1% of that. So mm -hmm. at, at 322, just a you know, $3,200 check, take right. that home off the market. Um, and then, uh, you know, we, we have a couple uh, meetings between now and the time that you close. Mm -hmm. So with that particular home, for example, you would walk that home with the builder to look for any type of, you know, modest uh, cosmetic defects. Right. Like chips and, and so on and so forth. Yes. Also allows uh, an opportunity for the builder to kind of show you how to live in the home, if that makes sense. Kind of show you where the utilities shut off valves are and right. um, kind of where you know plumbing's being run and the, the, the drains in the backyard, the irrigation system, the yes. water system. Shows you how, how to kind of really, you know, live, like I said, in that home. Yes. Um, how to use all the, the functions in and out. He would explain the water heater and things like that to you. So when you get in there, you're not full of surprises and wondering what to do in case of any type of uh, situation arises. Absolutely, that sounds great. Yes, and then we have a pre-closed meeting here where we just go over a lot of the warranty information, so, mm -hmm. so on and so forth, um, and just kind of get you prepared. Now, we do have an in-house lender as well, Five Point Connect. Okay. And uh, a couple of benefits of going with them. I mean, one, I always like to tell everybody, just makes the process much simpler. Mm. Uh, when it's a company that is, you know, under our same roof, they mm. know how we as a builder work and we know how they work as well. Right. And so things are much more fluid. It, um, you know, really mitigates a, a kind of a, a a problem where sometimes people miss their closings using outside lenders. Yes. That's, that's kind of uh, something that's common. So that's yes. very unlikely to happen with, with using, you guys. Yeah, yes. Using our own. That makes sense. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, and then of course the financial benefit. Right. Yes. I'm sure you guys are competitive. Yes, sir. Yeah. So typically our um, closing cost is going to be a contribution of up to $6,000 okay. towards the closing cost. Okay. Because this is a move-in ready home and we can close by the year's end, we're right. actually doing a special promotion where we can provide up to $10,000 towards the closing cost. Hmm. So that will make it that much more beneficial for you, save a little money out of pocket, yes. you could use that towards some furniture or yes. something like that, or moving expenses to you know, just have the guys come move all the stuff for you into the home. That's a very good point. Yes, sir. Okay. So just the earnest check. And then we would go from there. Yes, sir. Um, and you've got my card there. It's got my yes. contact information, both my email and my cell phone number there for you. Mm -hmm. Is now is there a particular time that maybe um, I can have you come back into the office? Um, if not today, you know, maybe tomorrow. What's your schedule like? Um, tomorrow is Sunday. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. I have a. I think I have a birthday party. Well, not me, my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Monday she doesn't have school. You know, I would definitely say, you know, please touch base with me. Yes, I do have a party tomorrow. Uh, please touch base with me. Um, yeah, I do have a party tomorrow. Uh, please touch base with me, and then yes, I could possibly come back in maybe maybe later next week okay. or next weekend, uh, or maybe I might sleep on it and I might end up calling you before that. Okay. Um, well, I've got <coughs> I've got a couple openings on Monday. Uh, we're here from you know ten to six. Ten to um, six. I don't think I have anything particularly lined up at the moment. But how was how was it like? I don't know. Maybe. Two o'clock on Monday. Well, Monday I cannot because my daughter does not have school. Mm. So. So you'll be at home. I'll be at home. Well, you can her. bring her. She can see the new house. Oh no way! She'll be the deal. She'll be the deal sealer if she comes along. Um, that's why I said Monday wouldn't work, but uh, possibly later in the week or on okay. the weekend. Okay. I'm sorry. Which um, which uh, section? 
Yeah, we were just back here in, in this section right here, and it was that particular home right there. Oh, this one right here? Okay. And there'll be future development here. Yeah, that little street I saw went through there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the location's good, too. Okay. Yeah, um, it's really just uh, for me to think about it, really. Okay. Well, then, I'll tell you what. I'll give you a call tomorrow, just to kind of see what has, you know, crossed your mind past, you know, 24 hours. Sure. And, um, and then we'll try to set up a meeting for next week. That sounds good. Um, actually, I think I might have given you... Can I give you another phone number? Sure, sure, sure. Because I think I gave you the one that I don't use as often. Okay. It's uh, 346... Yes, sir. 201... Mm -hmm. 5792. 5792. Kyle Roberts, all right. Correct. Thank you, Kyle, for coming in today. I definitely appreciate your time. No, I, I appreciate it. As I said, I've been on the computer for a little while, and everything and everyone looks great. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what, let me actually go out and actually see what it looks like, touch the product so I, I know. Um, and I love it that you guys are not on the south side of I-10. I love that you guys are up here and it's quiet. Yeah, great, absolutely. Great location. Thank you. Yeah, well, I, you, thank you. I'll definitely go and um, do some homework, do some thinking, and hopefully come to a decision sooner rather than later. Um, I definitely, definitely liked how that, the, the power of that one looked. Yes, sir. Anything else I can help you with today? Um, no, sir, I don't think so. I don't think so. I appreciate your time. I appreciate the information. This is a great uh, actual starting point because, as I said, s sitting on the computer gets a little monotonous. Yes. It all kind of runs together. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, just like everything in life, right, you got to go and experience it, see it for yourself. So exactly. I'm definitely glad you came Exactly. Here, Me sure. too. Me too. Looks like you guys have a great neighborhood starting here. Thank you, sir. Looks wonderful. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Thank Jeremy. Thank you, we'll talk. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Excuse me. Yeah, welcome. Thank you. Wow, you're still here? That's awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching the entire length of that video. I know it was a little lengthy, like I said, but hey, thank you so much for watching the whole thing. Um, if you made it to the end, leave down in the comments, uh, you know, say, I made it to the end. And that just let me know that you watched it all the way through and I greatly appreciate that. Again, if you like content like this, be sure to subscribe, um, hit that like button, that's huge you know, for the uh, YouTube algorithm to help share this video to other people. Um, let's see, what else am I forgetting? Hit the notification bell so you can be notified each time we upload a new episode. And um, yeah, I mean, if you like videos like this, you can click on some of these right here and right here, and uh, that'll show you some other videos that we've got on the channel. And until next time, guys, take care.